while most of the country was still fast asleep. Ignition. Freedom soars and the dragon flies for it. Yet another SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket roared to life in the Florida night sky. We are T plus 35 seconds in. On board, four NASA astronauts traveling at 17,500 miles per hour for a rendezvous with the space station, with a stuffed turtle and monkey along for the ride. And this is them uh, in zero G, uh, yeah. two of them for the first time. While back on Earth, that signature SpaceX maneuver, landing both rocket boosters on the bullseye. The dramatic morning coming just 39 hours after private Axiom astronauts returned to Earth in a different SpaceX capsule. Dragon SpaceX, we see splashdown and mains cut. This morning's launch further cementing NASA's partnership with the commercial space industry. We are really in a golden era of space exploration. On board today, Jessica Watkins, set to become the first African-American woman on a long-duration stay. I am just really honored to be a part of the long legacy of uh, black astronauts and black, black women astronauts who came before me. But NASA also has big challenges. It's still working on technical problems for the test flight of its Artemis rocket program this summer, orbiting the moon without a crew, then carrying astronauts back to the lunar surface within two years, including a woman and person of color. Meanwhile, right now on the space station, Russian and American astronauts continue working together, even as the head of the Russian space agency has threatened to stop cooperating. Despite a war going on in Ukraine, I see that professional relationship with astronauts and cosmonauts and the ground team, I see that continuing. Tom, the astronauts have a lot to think about out there. Another thing they have to think about is all this space junk that's kind of floating around. What are they doing about that? Made worse because Russia back in November exploded, uh, fired a missile and blew up one of their own satellites, creating a massive debris field. And just in the last few days, they've had to maneuver the space station to get out of the way of space debris. There are about 23,000 pieces of space junk bigger than the size of a softball traveling at 17,000 miles per hour. So that can destroy a satellite and pose a potential lethal threat to the space station, Hoda. Indeed, wow. All right, Tom, uh, thank you so much. Something it does. Think about well, yeah. it. Also, but it does feel yeah. like we're going into space literally every week now. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. And dumping uh, a bunch of trash up there. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Jeez. All right. <laughs> space too. Keep Bring space clean. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Let's go. Let's clean this up. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.